Ah, yeah. Like and subscribe my YouTube content, guys. Finger guns. I'm not at all awkward. Oh, and comment. That's the other one. All right, so we have an off lane pudge or uh, a position four pudge. Um, so I want to play a ranged hero with pause four pudge. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me to do an educational Enigma game, so why not? Let's just do it. Um, for Enigma, I typically start double Sages Mask because you want to go for Necro 1 at least because Necro 1 can basically just act as like a Midas for you on Enigma. Um, it allows you to, uh, like, the Necro t book tanks for your Eidolons, so it's a lot of extra HP. It gives you extra pushing power with the, uh, Necronomicon Aura, and it's just, it's good build up. Um, the Mana Regen from Sages Mask allows you to spam Eidolons a lot more freely, and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much why you want to start Double Sages Mask. Um, so since a nigga, like, you are reliably going, um, Eidolons level one, like, every single time because you want to be able to get lane control. And, um, there's a trick that you can do with Eidolons, or, I mean, it's not really a trick. It is kind of a trick. Uh, but you can, like, perma, you can basically get two creep denies before the first wave, uh, the first two waves, um, even connect. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that. I may fail at it. Um, but the idea behind it is we are going to Eidolon deny the first, or like the creep that is ahead of all the other creeps, and then we're going to just heavy block, um, heavy block so the creeps don't even, uh, the creeps don't even meet. Um, we'll see if I get it. It, uh, you can mess it up if you're not, like, super adamant, um, what I do for blocking is I basically am spamming stop as I am kind of like slowly adjusting my hero in front of the creeps. So you'll see my hero move like this a lot. And uh, like, like so sometimes I'm going to have to like move a little bit. So like it, it, it is, uh, it can be difficult to do, but you can just go into a private lobby and practice blocking on your own and just like kind of get used to, used to the motion of doing this and you will eventually just get better at it. Um, the battle begins. As you suggest. So we're gonna let the creeps split a bit. So what we're gonna try to do... Last of all coming, but first of this. As you can see, that's just kind of what we're doing. Cool. And he wants to kill. I really don't like this at all. As you wish. Oh no! All right, it worked out. Never mind. It was beautiful. Now, hopefully, we can get this deny off. We only missed one creep, so it's not like it's not the worst in the world. And we got first blood. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of sit under tower here. I don't really want to uh, aggress in lane at all. I'm just looking to play for experience here. Medusa is kind of annoying for us to lane against, um, but it'll be fine. Um, but pretty much every time that we're using the Eidolon Deny, we're trying to do it, um... We're trying to do it without, uh, without being in XP range of the, uh, of the enemy heroes. If we're able to do that, uh, it just, it makes carries feel bad when playing against Enigma. Like, all the time. This Pudge is a god. 
I'm sure I didn't even have to tell you guys that though. You can clearly see how godly go Pudge is. Denying the range creep. The reason that we want to deny the range creep, uh, if if at all possible, when uh, when the enemy team is out of XP range, is because the range creep gives the most gold and XP in the lane. So if you're able to deny the range creep, I do suggest doing that. Um, also, when you're CSing with Enigma, it's very similar to Furion. You want to um, you want to hit stop attack, so. You, your hero, and your Eidolons are all attacking at the same time. Drop your bottle. Drop your bottle. As you <laughs> I'm gonna buy a magic stick. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull this uh, creep with. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to get the pull off. Phoenix interrupted me, but such is life. Push, I can pull. Yes. I flow on. So I didn't want to use my next uh, set of Eidolons on that creep wave because, again, Medusa was in the uh, experience range. So I just saved it for the next one back here because again if uh, the enemy heroes aren't in the experience range They're just gonna feel real bad about mi completely missing the XP from the creeps. I hooked the rune for you storm come 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 storm Fusion. They pull the big camp TP over here, made, so... I'm just gonna eat the uh, range creep here. And try my best to micro properly so all of my Eidolons split. Um, cause we're getting to the point in the lane where we're actually gonna be strong enough where we can actively pressure the Medusa. If, uh, we are able to get our Eidolons to split now that we're level 5. Um, bounty runes are spawning though, so I'm just gonna walk over here, try to stop the Ferion from getting anything. I'm gonna farm the big camp again. Or, I, I said Ferion, I meant Phoenix. I'm sure you guys knew what I meant though. Uh, now that we're level 5 though, we, again, we should be strong enough that we can, uh, like, start actively trying to pressure lanes and stuff. Uh, glimpse, glimpse. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be pushing the lane in now and be farming the big camp. Um, farming the big camp every minute. Because if we do it, if we start playing like this, we can, again, actually pressure the Medusa. Go ahead, go ahead. And, uh, just make her... Make her, like, want to leave and go to jungle. Dire structures are fortified. We can still, Courier like, play Courier. for denies and stuff, don't get me wrong, but... Has been killed. Yes. Uh... <laughs> And also, Give pretty much whenever you see a to. siege creep, uh, as Enigma, you, like an enemy siege creep, you should just eat it. Siege creeps are just too threatening to leave alive in general, so... Assuming the Phoenix got a pull off, he did. We can dive the Dusa. I have Necro. Well, that was loud. 
My goodness. I suck. So I'm just kind of running past tower, trying to cut the wave, make the enemy team uncomfortable. We already forced the tusk to TP up here, so I want to be a bit careful now that tusk is up here. But uh, you know, we're 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 fine. We're chilling. Um, also, when you're playing Enigma, you pretty much want to be using your necro books like off cooldown. It just helps enable your uh, your farming speed like way too way too much to to not be spamming. Um, I'm just gonna go back and farm the ancients right now, though. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to pressure the uh, pressure the Medusa right now. So I'm just gonna farm two things of ancients so that my Pudge gets some levels. Uh, and the the reason that I didn't really think that we were gonna be able to pressure the Medusa is because uh, I didn't I didn't have much mana. I'm gonna see if I can sack this. Looks like we got it. I didn't have much mana though, so I wasn't gonna be able to cast black hole or anything. Um, so I just kind of wanted to be a bit greedy here, give my Pudge some XP, and uh, you know just just play for myself. Since my necro books are about to die, I'm just making sure my necros are tanking as much damage as possible. Your top tower is under attack. Gonna buy mana boots, and now now that we have mana boots, we should be able to go pressure uh, a lot easier. I think mana boots are like pretty necessary on Enigma nowadays. Um, because... Uh, like your your spells are just so expensive, um, and mana boost just kind of like helps helps with that that issue. Obviously, they are called mana boots. They are there to solve your mana issues. Um, all right, enough ranting about mana boots. So since nobody came top, we're able to just take the tier one tower freely. Um, the enemy's top tower has fallen. I'm gonna skip my talent at level 10 and get a point in Midnight Pulse. Midnight Pulse is, can be really, really useful to have a point in early. Um, I'm just gonna eat my Siege Creep. I don't want to give the Medusa the experience of it. Um, but Midnight Pulse is useful to have a point in early because uh, you can you can kill trees with it, which uh, we have a Siege Creep mid. I should honestly be running mid right now. I'm playing way too slow. Uh, but you can kill trees with Midnight Pulse, which just allows you to do. Ooh. I see. I'm gonna just run into tower range and hopefully tank. Nice, we got there, baby. I I should have been mid a lot earlier because I I killed the end. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. I did it. That was me. Um. <laughs> I should have been mid a lot earlier though with that 10 minute siege creep. I definitely was able to pressure with it. I'm just gonna use black hole here because I don't want my pledge to die if uh, at all possible. He's so dead, but... And we didn't get the kill. Wow, that's just tragic. Well, looks like they have a ward. Unfortunate. So there's two different directions that you can go that you can go on Enigma. Um, you can either buy like 
a mech and go into a quick greaves and just kind of be this like tanky team fighter with your team um, or you can go blink BKB if the enemy team has no uh, no BKB piercing um, BKB piercing spells which they don't they don't this game but I still kind of want to go the mech build or the greaves build because of um, because it's just gonna make us like so impossible to fight into um, because basically when when we, we have a juggernaut already and if we're able to just out sustain the enemy team which is pretty much just like a pango roll uh, a Medusa ult and a Phoenix ult if we're able to out sustain all of that then um, like long fights are basically going to uh, benefit us a lot and um, we already kind of want to take long fights against them because like when Phoenix eggs pops uh, for the most part we're probably just going to be trying to kite the Phoenix egg assuming the Phoenix is casting the spells properly and everything um, your bottom tower is under attack. So, with that in mind, we, uh, we're just, we're, we're, we're just gonna try and play for a longer game here. And I think Jug was pinging the Ancients because he wants, uh, because he just wants to farm them, which is fine. I was gonna farm them, but Harry players get priority. Damn carry players taking my farm. Um Your bottom tower is under attack. Your middle tower. So yeah, we're just kinda chilling and farming now. We've already taken both of the both of the important powers of the game, the top tier one and the mid tier one, so your tower is under yeah, we're just living life. I do still want to like push in waves low uh, and force reactions out of the enemy team and like try to farm the enemy side of the map whenever possible. Um, uh, just to like force reactions out of them and. Now that was cool. Uh, but <laughs> what actually happened there, which I wasn't, I wasn't actually thinking about this beforehand, but what happened there was the Medusa, like I was kind of stuck in this corner and Medusa casted her alt. So, and I wanted to black hole him still. So I just turned my back to Medusa and black hole in this direction so I could uh, actually get my black hole off. Unfortunately, the impetus came when my pudge hooked me. Otherwise, I would have survived and gotten the three-man black hole, which would have been sick. I mean, it still was pretty sick. Like, it still turned out really good for us, but... Um... Yeah. Play aggressively, force the enemy team to respond to you and walk into you, and then just kill them. Um, one, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give for uh, people who play Enigma, though, is pretty much don't be afraid to cast Black Hole. Um, I, I, I know Black Hole, uh, so many people view Black Hole as like, this ultra team fight ability that you know you you should only use it when you get the perfect black holes etc etc but i mean like as you even saw earlier when um when i was when i used my black hole on a solo pause for tusk to try and save my pudge like black hole is only good if you're using this ability to, but like if you're just using the ability if, if black hole is always off cooldown because you're always trying to save it for a four-man black hole or you know you're trying to get some ti black game winning black hole like 
Black Hole is just good because of like because of the threat of black hole and like if you're just never using black hole because you know you're not getting the perfect black hole then you're just you're wasting you're wasting the potential of it because it is really really difficult to get those perfect uh to get those perfect black holes that are gonna you know just straight up end the game and win the game and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying just like, just use it on a pause five every time you see a pause five. Like there is a time and place for everything, but uh, you know, don't, there's just a long winded explanation of just don't be afraid to use your spells, no matter what hero you're playing. I, I see so many people, they're like shaking in their boots, afraid to press their, their abilities. And it's just like, why? Just cast it. What's the worst that, that can happen? You, you miss a spell, you don't, you don't, cast it at the exact frame that you're supposed to cast it at and you know the enemy team might win a team fight because of it or something like who cares just cast your spells that's all i'm trying to say i see too many people not cast their spells and i have some pent up frustrations because of it as you might be able to tell your middle tower is under attack Holy moly, this end is just melting me. But it all ended up okay yet again. Um, so at this point, we could go for a pipe. If, uh, if I was, like, genuinely worried about my team, I, I might buy a pipe here, but I'm just gonna get a BKB. Because if I get a BKB, I don't, I personally don't see a way for us to lose this game. Um, BKB just prevents, like, the, the Tusk from canceling my, uh, my Black Hole and potentially the Pango. Pango roll can cancel Black Hole while it's, like, it's unlikely it can, it can happen. So, I'm just gonna get it. Also, I don't know if they're gonna be buying, like, Yules or something on their heroes, so... Also, they just have a shit ton of magic damage in general, which BKB obviously is great at preventing. Also, BKB Black Hole is just one of the most terrifying combos in the, in the game. Um, you know, I Z Freak tells me that the 8% cooldown reduction isn't good. I, I think 8% cooldown reduction is infinitely better than, uh, than... Uh, the Midnight Pulse Radius. Because you really don't need a bigger Midnight Pulse. Like, this is so big. Midnight Pulse already is huge. Um, I don't know. Either Talon is fine. I mean, I mean, Midnight Pulse in general is just like, it's a really, really broken ability. But I, I think having a lower cooldown Black Hole is more valuable than having a bigger Midnight Pulse. I have Greaves. I have Black Hole in 20. What is this Pango doing? I have Black Hole. Go, 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 go. Whipping myself so I get in there quicker. 
invisibility. As you suggest. He was stunned, Pudge. Happens to the best of us. Not gonna dwell on it. Action principle. So since Jug died, I don't I don't even know where Jug somehow died here without getting Omni Slash off. Don't ask me how. There's a reason I have Mar Barsa muted. He's just like a toxic player who just makes baffling plays constantly and acts like it's not his fault in some way so i just i just keep people like that muted and i don't even give them the light of day somehow our juggernaut died in their tier three tower that's all we gotta know and you know that that's enough Okay, no, okay. So. And he's dead yet again. Let's go fight them. No Medusa. No Medusa? What? Isn't Medusa right there? Am I wrong? Oh, I am wrong. Oh god, Medusa's right there. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Unfortunate. Well, I went a pretty poor path. I should have ran through. I should have ran through the river there. I should not have gone through their dry camp. To be fair, for some reason I thought dark green was Medusa, not Phoenix. So I thought this was Medusa that got glimmer caped, and then I looked up and I was like, oh, it's not Medusa. And then I walked in their dry camp and there was a Medusa there. So, that was unfortunate. But, that's fine. Unfortunate things happen all the time. And we're almost at our BKB, which is just gonna help us not take as much damage. Hooray! I love not taking damage. Sorry, as much damage. When did they up Alpha Wolf to level 5 creep? I don't remember that in the changelog. I'm just gonna farm towards the BKB though. <laughs> and honestly, like, Stone Gaze does cancel Black Hole through BKB, so maybe I should have gone Blink first this game. I don't know. It's difficult to itemize properly every single game. Blink first probably would have been better. It would have allowed me to just like position better and uh, actually be a threat with my black hole, but. Regeneration. Whatever. Here we are. I'm gonna throw summons down middle. I almost have my BKB. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. All right, I BKB coming. So, I didn't really like the, the fact that we just kind of walked into Roche there. Um, the only way that we can reliably Roche right now is if uh, 
As if we're able to get a pick off before. Can I get the quickening charm? Oh, got hand delivered a quickening charm. Let's go. We can kill whoever. No mana do so. I have Grease in two. We're miscasting our abilities and stuff to an extent, but it's fine. We got the pango buyback. Um, oh yeah, basically the way the way that I'm just looking to use black hole in these fights is I'm I'm pretty much looking to black hole the pango and Medusa. Those those are my those are my two main targets. If uh, if like another scenario arises where you know I'm not able to black hole specifically pango Medusa. And, but I'm able to get like three other heroes, including the Tusk Phoenix or something, then, you know, sure, I will take those scenarios. But kind of like my mentality going into fights is those are the heroes that we're, we're looking, we're looking for. And if we're able to get them, great. If we're, if we're not, then we're just kind of like slow playing the fights and, uh, you know, figuring out exactly what it is uh, that we're trying to accomplish. Um... When I have Blink, obviously the way that we kind of approach fights changes a little bit, but... Ango use roll. We are coming. Place a ward. Place a ward. Can we go Roche? No Pango? He has no buyback, no buyback. So we know Pango doesn't have buyback, so he's dead for these 80 seconds and there's nothing he can do. So we can quite literally just walk into Roche together and I don't believe there's anything Dyer can do to really contest Roche. Uh, you know, here comes like the perfect Medusa Phoenix ult that, you know, somehow just kills us all and we're just like no why did we roast that was so stupid even though it wasn't stupid and everyone starts crying about the call but it looks like that's not gonna happen so hooray we got roast um you can go 400 health if you're like super afraid of dying but eidolon damage i love the eidolon talents on enigma because Games, t games can go super late on Enigma all the time. And um, if you have the Eidolon talents, when you get up to plus five demonic conversion Eidolons, it, you are just, you are a force to be reckoned with. I mean, hell, even at this point when you have, uh, when you just have the Eidolon damage, if your Eidolon split, you do still do a lot of damage, but... Um, They're just kind of like chain feeding, so. Yeah. We have our blink coming now. I have a blink dagger on Courier. Almost there. Oh. 
Foi pra bicha, mano. Muito bicha, não. Uh, Manta's down on. Uh, never mind. They're all respawning. We can chill. We can chill. Uh, but yeah, now that we have Blink BKB, we are we are the strongest hero in the game by far. I'm just gonna go for a refresher next, I suppose. Invisibility. Um. So now that we do have Blink and BKB, we we want to make sure that we're getting the black holes that we want. We don't just kind of we don't want to just use black hole willy nilly for like a pause five end kill or something like that. We actually we want there to be purpose behind our black hole, and you know we want it to be like a. Th this is the stage in the game where we want black hole to kind of be that that game winning team fight ability, um, but you know when. To kind of elaborate on my point earlier, when you you have people playing Enigma and they want they want Black Hole to be that game-winning team fight at like you know 15 minutes in the game, and they don't use Black Hole until 30 minutes in the game, you kind of just run into this situation where Enigma is just kind of worthless because if you're not using your abilities for 30 minutes, why why are you even picking that hero in the first place? Um. But now that we've kind of hit like, you know, the more mid late game stage of the game and you know We have all of the items to enable us to have or like have really big uh, team fight impact um, This is more when we're we're just looking we're looking to be that that uh, Super scary force that the enemy team has to deal with or, or at least has to think about so like we we can be really really patient when we're looking at these fights. I mean, uh, we have a we have a storm spirit and a jug as our other two cores. Neither of these heroes should die very easily. So we're not like we're not we're not pressured to immediately jump into the fight and use black hole. Um, so pretty much whenever whenever we are going to be looking for a fight, we're gonna like let the fight happen naturally a little bit and then we're gonna kind of be that counter initiator that comes in at the at the correct time and and you and uses black hole and you know turns the turns the tide of the fight um uh, unless again unless we find like a solo pick on pango or medusa where we absolutely have to use black hole that is still fine at this stage in the game don't get me wrong but i'm just saying the way that we're looking at team fights is uh team like team fights in particular is Kind of what I what I just said. I think we have buyback now as well. But yeah, I do not want to be going in first. like that. Dead, so we just end the game from there. And that's Enigma. Great game, lads. Great game.